Hello everybody and welcome to Key Cam and the Fam and today I am making a chicken pot pie. Yes, I said it, a chicken pot pie. We went to the store the other day. That's my pot on. I'm gonna turn it on. So guys, we went to the store the other day and Pops, he is such a big kid. So Pops asked me to make him a chicken pot pie. So today, this is what you, I want you to do. I'm using canned vegetables, but you guys should use frozen vegetables. I'm using what I have in the kitchen. So a lot of these meals, I'm going to tell you, I would love to use fresh, fresh vegetables, but I'm using what I have in the kitchen. So I have garlic powder. I have mixed vegetables. I have canned potatoes, cream, of, cream soup. I have a pack of Goya, black pepper, Lipton, Lipton onion mix. I have a pie crust and I also have, I don't know which one of these I'm going to use, so I'm going back and forth which one I'm going to use. Like I said, I'm using what I have in the house. And we have three chicken thighs. So we're going to cut this onion. And we probably won't need this many onions, but what we're going to do, we're going to cut these onions and we're going to put this in our water while it's boiling. And we left the skin on our chicken thighs. If I had bell peppers, I would use them, but I don't. So like I said, guys, we're using what we have. So we're going to take you guys over to the stove. I'm gonna turn my stove on. And we're going to this water, we're going to add our lift and onion mix. Because we want this chicken pot pie to have as much flavor as it possibly can have. So we're going to add in our lift and onion mix. We're going to add in our Goya seasoning as well as our garlic powder and our black pepper. So this is the um, garlic powder. We're going to add in our black pepper. Now we're getting ready to add in our onions. We're gonna add in our chicken thighs. We're only using three. And now we're getting ready to add in our Goya flavor, our Goya chicken flavor. And guys, we're gonna let this come to a boil. And we're gonna cook this for about I would say probably about 40 minutes. And I want that chicken to absorb all of that good flavor. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to add in just a little more onion. Because I would love to have celery, but I don't have any celery, so I have to, I have to, I got to use what I have. And once we get this chicken to a boil, cook. We're going to take all of the bones, all of the skin that don't fall off on its own. We're going to remove all of the skin and we're going to mix it with our vegetables and we're going to put it in our pie shell. And when I tell you, this is going to be one of those lick your lips type meal. I don't know, y'all might get proposed to. If you're not already married, I don't know, you might get a second ring after this one. Because this is such a good recipe. It's simple. And it's inexpensive. So we'll bring you guys back once this chicken is through cooking. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, my chicken, I've boiled it and it is like falling off the bone. 
this is just tender it is falling off the bone so what we're going to do we're going to remove the bones and we're going to put this chicken pot pie together cinnamon style so i'll bring you guys back so guys as you can see i've taken my chicken out of the pan and, and it is falling off the bone that's just how tender this is and we're just gonna remove it's still pretty hot but I'm so used to working with hot food is it's crazy so we're going to take this piece of chicken and I actually have enough meat to make two pot pies so I'll probably make my husband one and make the kids their own separate one. And here go the meat, the here go the skin. Oops, keep falling, but that's the skin. It actually separated itself. So here's another bone. And I'm gonna call Kiara over here and I want her to actually come and taste this meat so she can see just how man this meat have some good flavor to it and if you hear some outside noises as always Chicago is partying they not thinking nothing about a quarantine or anything <laughs> so I'm going to lay you a piece of meat over there and you tell me how that meat tastes don't mind if I do cameraman I'll put you some to the side don't worry about it I got you thank you very much mm. so we remove all of the bones. And what I'm gonna, I'm just going through this meat to make sure that I don't have any skin left in here. Cause who wanna be enjoying a chicken pot pie and you're eating all skin? Nobody want that. And I love you guys so much. I don't want you to be feeding your family skin. And another thing, if you guys can get to the store, get you some celery. I love the flavor that celery have, but unfortunately, unfortunately, I, I'm, I'm not going to the store. So I try to bring you guys the meals, how I would do mine, what tastes good, but I am not going to the store. And I'm not going to dice this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take this spatula and chop it up because it's really just that tender. And my cameraman is looking so sad because he's like, you didn't give me a piece. So I'm going to take this over to the side, give him that. Real. I'm real as he say. So what we're going to do, we have the canned potatoes the cream of chicken. We also have the mixed vegetables and we're gonna use that and we're gonna put this, I'm gonna strain some of the um, onions out of the um, broth that it make. And I'm gonna tell you guys, when you have broth that good, you save that broth. You save it, because it will make some really, really good dressing. So we're going to save that broth and I'm going to slice up I'm gonna slice up these potatoes because my my oven is set for 350 and it's telling me cinnamon hurry up oh and I set the, the um, pie crust I've already set it in the oven for like eight minutes so I'm gonna bring you guys back okay guys so these are the canned potatoes that I have and we're just gonna cut these and remember these canned potatoes, they're already basically cooked. So, we're gonna cut these. And I probably only need two or three because the pie crust is really not a big pie crust. And I, guys, please excuse the outside noise. I don't know, it seems like every time we get ready to record, they seem to get louder and louder. I don't know, I think it's the lights that they know. Okay, they're recording, so let's get super loud. So anyway, we're gonna cut this last potato, and I'll probably just honestly, y'all, put me some kid can little sauce on those other three potatoes. But we're gonna cut these up. Okay, oven. Okay, oven, stop trying to sit up there and show out. 
So we have vegetable, the mixed vegetables. And I thought that this was cream of chicken, but it's actually chicken with rice. So we're going to make this work, you guys. So let me take my pie crust out of the oven. Okay, I'm going to leave that in there just a little longer. So we're going to take some of this chicken out. I'm gonna remove some of this chicken because this is a small pie crust, so we don't need all of that. I'm gonna make another one. The kids can have one, and Pops can have his own. I think as a kid, I probably ate this. I probably ate um, chicken pot pie a little bit too much as a kid. So, we're going to, this is our, um, this is our chicken that we chopped up. We're going to add in the potatoes. I'm surprised you guys don't hear Pop snoring. He's snoring loud, too. We're going to add those out of potatoes. We're going to add in the chicken with the rice. I'm going to add all that in. And now we're going to add the mixed vegetables. We probably won't use all of the mixed vegetables, but we're going to. And those have potatoes in it as well, so probably didn't need to. So we're going to add this in, you guys. And this is going to be delicious. If you guys have cream of chicken, please use it. I, I really thought that that was cream of chicken, but it's rice in it and it's still going to work. And we're going to throw this in the oven. And why, let me get my um, pie crust because I know it's ready by now. So this is what it looks like for now. We're going to try to put as much of this as we possibly can. Oh, thank God I found that ball. We're going to put this in the pie crust. And we're just going through and make sure that we don't have any more bones in here. So we're just slowly going through. I'm actually going to let Key taste this. It's delicious. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to throw this on in the oven. I am going to take probably about maybe three or four tablespoons of my juice because I wanted to actually have like, you know, I don't want it to just be, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I wanted to have a little, a little juice to it. Okay. So we're going to take the pie crust out of the oven and I'll bring you guys back. So guys, this is my pie crust. I've had it in the oven for the last eight minutes. I thought it was a deep dish pie crust, but we're going to work with what we have. That's the plan. We're going to work with what we have. We're going to smooth this out. And my husband, he he's going to be really happy because he looked so sad. He was like, they don't even have any more pot pies. Okay, didn't you eat enough pot pies as a kid? You still want a pot pie? But, you like that sometimes, huh? You can't tell the person what they want or need. So we're gonna smooth this out. And we're gonna put that other pie crust on top of this. Remember this is rice and um, rice and chicken, canned, canned potatoes and canned mixed vegetables. And we're going to put that other pie crust on top of it. We're gonna use the frozen pie crust guys. So we're going to remove this pie crust. It broke a little bit. We're going to work with what we have. And it's, it's really actually um, kind of soft. So we're going to bend this back. And we're going to try to we're going to try to get this pie crust out here whole. That's the plan. If it don't go like that, hey, stuff happens. I have two boxes of the other kind of pie crust. So... We're going to sit this on top of here. It looks like it's going to come out in one piece. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to struggle with this and I'm going to bring you guys back. 
Okay, so I'm still bending this pie across. It actually looks like, okay, great. All of it came out at one time. And we just gonna mold this around the top of this. It's not gonna be perfect, guys. But we gonna do the best that we can do, right? We all working together. <laughs> all of us together. That's right. We all in this together. And kids, she just broke out in song, y'all. Some, 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 some. Wow. Mm -hmm. Some dreaming. And camp is singing too. Yeah. All righty. So I'm gonna get this pie crust on here smoothly. So guys, I'm gonna bring you guys back once I've got this pie crust on here. So guys, we got the pie crust. I actually changed the um, other pie crust because it just was not, it was not behaving. So now we're just taking our fork and we're just putting our fork prints on the edge. And it's not gonna be perfect, and that's okay. But your family is gonna love it, and that's all that matters. Oops. And we have some melted butter and an egg yolk, and we're just gonna put this on the top to give it that golden crust trick that I seen Soul for Tea do. <laughs> Shout out to Soul for Tea. So we're going to take our egg and butter wash and we're gonna put just brush it on the top. It's not gonna be perfect. And actually Soul for Tea do have some um Crust recipes to me, I'm lazy to always do this because I'm certain things I just don't do. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I can't do it. I just just to me seem like a lot of work. When I can just go buy pie crust. <laughs> you guys probably hear my husband snore in the background. So we're gonna put this in the oven for 20 minutes. We're just gonna let some of this steam pop out. And we'll bring you guys back in 20 minutes. Well guys, as you can see, my Popeye is out of the oven. Thank you guys so much for watching. I told you guys I had to change the pie crust. I changed it till the, I used the, um, the Pillsbury crust. I used that instead for the top layer. Guys, I'm getting ready to take this pie back here to my husband. You guys probably won't see Ken and Cam mukbang this because he's been asking for this pie by himself. So. I'm going to make this pie, but I will come back on here and do this pie again because I want to do it with the um, with the cream of mushrooms and the cream of um, chicken, you know, the cream of chicken. But it turned out perfectly, as you can see. The crust is perfect. It smells delicious. They're still having a block party outside, guys, so we're not going to even do another video mukbang in this because they're going to get louder and louder so guys thank you so much for watching have a blessed blessed day and i will see you guys in the next video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave me a comment and tell me what you think of my chicken pot pie okay bye bye y'all yeah so guys we're cutting it And we're going to, I should have got spatula. Cause I'm so scared it's gonna.
Poop you coming? What are you saying that for? You trying to make fun of my husband? No, y'all nickname. That's my little pookie love. <laughs> that's your pie. That's your pie right there. I covered my face, love. Nope, that's yours. I'm going to cut it again. Well, Pops, how did you enjoy it? This is amazing. And it tastes a lot better than the one in the box that I was trying to find. But you know what we need? I ran out of um, cream of um, chicken. Don't start that. Oh, uh -huh, It's not perfect. It's not my best. That's my cinnamon favorite line. It's not my best. So guys, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna let Pops eat his little Hit his little chicken pot pie. This is the rest of it. So guys, please try this recipe. Don't forget to use cream of chicken or mushroom. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.